Boss, I have 500,000 Ghana CDs. I'm planning to relocate to Nigeria. Is that enough for me to settle? It's a very nice question now. Oh, yeah, now let's help our Ghana sister calculate. You know, understand? As of today, one Ghana CD is 102 naira 55 kobo. If you multiply by 500,000 Ghana CDs, you get 51 million 275,000 naira. That is to say, the equivalent of 500,000 Ghana CDs in naira, it is 51 million 275,000 naira. So, Sandra. With this kind of money, you can invest in Nigeria and it's enough for you to settle down. After all, there are people in this country with zero naira, zero kobo, and they are surviving. Do you understand? So if you are looking for a place to invest, not go Lagos or to the Jam Park. Come on, really data state, space day here. This is the economic center of data state, you don't understand? Come here and invest. And as you do that, your life will never remain the same. Sharp. What are you saying, bro? Remove zero from your naira and see where your naira go day. See this get value more than naira. Just admit admit it, bro. It's okay. <laughs> How many zeros did Ghana remove from their currency? Four zeros. That is to say, Ghana divided their old currency by ten thousand. You don't understand. Now as of today, one Ghana CD is one hundred and five naira three kobo. Now, for them to have gotten one Ghana CD, it means they divided their old currency by 10,000 to get one Ghana CD. Okay? So now we'll divide the Naira equivalent by 10,000 mm, so that they are two good on the same level uh, playing field. You don't understand? So now if you divide 105 Naira 3 Kobo by 10,000, you get 0 0.010503. What does this mean? It means uh, if his SLSC, President Bola Ahmed Emilio Continuable, decides to cancel four zeros from the Naira, mm, <laughs> As of today, one Ghana CD will be equal to one Kobo. Mm. <laughs> one Ghana CD will be equal to one Kobo. <laughs> so I don't tell them I'll be posting Naira again level pass it. Now they argue. They go see argue again. Check the comment section. Nigerians. Why would I tell like this now? Like when I know they pity your neighboring country. Abba. I'm not get messy. I'm not get pity. See, I was busy pitying the South African people based on their predicament at the moment, based, based on the suffering they are going through, the pains they are going through for Nigerians' hands, right? I never knew that Ghana are even in more pains than South Africans, right? Ah, on my comment section, I don't see plenty of things, so. Hey. So this morning, my friend with the Ghana called me, you know, and he was like, bro, I don't speak to and I was like, bro, what's up? You see, accident, they tear him from out. I was like, bro, sorry, but what of the driver? Why? You know, you know, watch well. I was like, he said, no, be more to warm on a leg. Like, how? He said, for night when in the waka. Now, here another person jam and tear him out. So I now come to realize that, I, you know, the Ghanaians, they are very dark, like, seriously dark. So for night they can't see each other. You get that kind of thing now. They know they see each other. So you know Ghanaians then they Ghana they always then they always get light 24-7. So nobody get generator to like they never like they never prepared for this incoming darkness. So when Nigeria decided to cut their light after they mess with Nigeria, Nigeria and cut their light. No generator now, so no phone, no touch lights. There's nothing like every waking dark as you are talking. And the Ghanaians they are very dark. So at night when moving around, then they jam each other. Like so, if you are lucky, you'll be this, uh, the trailer will jam the other person. The other person go wound. But if uh, if you are unlucky, <laughs> the other person jump and wound you. That's saying I be the trailer. Now you be, be the smaller motor. So now you get the wound. You get so that my guy and I, I get the wound, I the hospital now. So there's always the jam everywhere. It's fucking dark, bro. Nothing is moving. That is why no bloggers from Nigeria, from Ghana are talking about this or um, what is going on now because nobody's charging anything. So now let's go back to the South Africans, right? To the South Africa issue. Ghana and Nigeria, I'm still apologizing. I'm still begging. You guys should try and pity these people. Like they're in pain. Serious one now. Nobody's going to work. No gas, no fuel. 
the boat people the boat drivers are scared to even pick calls the thing is fake so if you are in south africa and trying to order over to go to anywhere they won't answer you in fact the next thing that's way this not straight go collect straight up hmm. now pastor has done even scatter ninja don't order who come go meet pastor for house ah ninja why not they like this but i know they pity now they forgive it's okay now uh, South African people, they are in pain. The South Africans, they are in pain. Please. I'm going to pity them. What? But I love Unasha. Nanja, Una too, too good. Who born any bagger to challenge you now? They born them well. Nigeria. See, we be youth, we don't get work. But if you check our phone, that are full of money. We the sub 24-7. We know the lack. They get is a crazy country country filled with many things ha. country we filled with strength youth will not get work but we are okay you get you can't mess with us and go free it is better you support us even when you're supporting us if you say anything that is that is against us or you are trying to make 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 fun of us or you try to join with us we go still enter you know we don't even enter our president we enter ourselves that place of you will be outside that you get I too love Nanja, I swear to you guys, like, but please, mercy, I beg, mercy on these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happened at a church in Ghana yesterday. <laughs> All the members, they are holding their passports with the country flag they want to travel to. Did you understand me? I miss all the members. If now France you won't go, if now Canada you won't go, you will carry the flag for one, you will carry your passport for one, you go the cabbage. <laughs> that will not pay me. What they pay me for this whole matter, you see? I look, 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 look everybody for the church. Nobody carry Nigeria flag. Ghanaians, what did they happen? Now? So no Ghanaian won't go Nigeria. Yeah? Ghana, this one that they do so no good though. This one that they do so no good. Now they pray, they pray. So nobody won't go to Nigeria. Nobody won't travel to Nigeria. Ah, Ghanaians. Ghanaians. You guys can do better. Ah, you guys can do better, Ghanaians. Ah. I don't know if I'm the only one on this table. These are my international passports. Every year they do passport for this country. Now this one chop denial for Australia embassy. This one chop denial for American embassy. I don't do new one now. Now, person go do international passport for Nigeria. 64 pages. What I do now? Only for I use. See, Ghana Kotunu, Ghana Kotunu, Ghana Kotunu. See the immigration officers for Ghana. Then they stop and I say they know I don't get hope to take travel come up for Africa again. Please, immigration officers or immigration office, are we Nigerians doing international passports just to use it to open bank accounts or for means of identification? Because we go do international passport, you go do your hand expire, you go do another one, you know, go use and travel go anywhere. If you go to you now, people go plenty for them. It's not all of them they use and travel. Most of them they open they they do international passport just to use and go open bank accounts. Please. This year, I don't do new one now. I go move this, I move this one travel. I bet it's not cost. It's not cost. You know what affects me this year in Jesus' name. Because this country now, now every day, every year, they do pass. Almost everyone wants to speak their mind. The only thing you, uh, you can do is that Ghana, protect your country, okay? As they are insulting Ghana now, I think the, the most important thing is that when you are in here, the Grishon, just protect your country. Make sure you keep your border safe and the. Uh, uh -huh, understand uh, just we are uh, now are we one african again hmm? just protect your country protect your if you see anybody come in check them investigate them try to find out that uh, where they are coming from whether they are from nigeria or wherever they're coming from try to just protect ghana and just protect your country that is it that is the only thing i have to say as for now i say bye-bye for now just bye-bye just want to appreciate everybody and bye bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe, Sha. See me in my next video. No forgot to subscribe to Master Manager Niger News. Subscribe, okay? Subscribe.